Hi guys! Welcome sa panibago nating video about systems of linear equations. This time, pag-uusapan natin yung iba't ibang types ng systems depende sa kanilang equations. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. May tatlo tayong types ng systems of linear equations. At pala, pag sinabing systems of linear equations, ito yung mga linear equations na kailangan simultaneous sinosolve. Maraming ibang ways or methods para mag-solve ng systems, pero sa video na to, yung tatlong types muna ng systems ang ating pag-uusapan. Una, meron tayong independent, meron tayong dependent, at panghuli, meron tayong inconsistent. So, kapag sinabi nating independent yung system, it means na isa lang yung kanyang solution. Isa lang yung ordered pair niya na magsasatisfy dun sa dalawang equations na involved. Kapag naman sinabi nating dependent, ito yung many or infinite solution. Marami or infinitely many yung kanyang ordered pair na magsasatisfy dun sa dalawang equations. And finally, pag sinabi inconsistent, Walang answer or walang solution, walang ordered pair, walang point of intersection. Kapag sinabi natin independent, yung kanyang slope at yung kanyang y-intercept ay magkaiba. This came from the slope-intercept y is equal to mx plus p. Kapag independent, magkaiba yung m na slope, magkaiba din yung b which is the y-intercept. Kapag naman dependent, magkapareho yung slope or yung m at magkapareho din yung y-intercept or yung b. At kapag naman inconsistent, from the word itself, hindi consistent, same sila sa slope pero yung kanyang y-intercept ay magkaiba. So, paano natin malalaman kung ang given ay independent, dependent, or inconsistent? Baka kasi solve tayo ng solve, tapos yung given pala, inconsistent. Wala palang solution. O kaya, dapat ang sagot ay madami kasi dependent yung system. Tapos, ang naging sagot lang natin ay independent, one solution lang. So, makikita natin yan sa graph. Kapag ang graph ay ganito, Merong dalawang lines, yung blue tsaka yung red line, tapos nag-intersect lang sila sa isang point, then the system is independent. Ito ay intersecting lines. Kapag naman ganito, dahil infinitely many solution, kumbaga magkapatong yung dalawang equation. Dito sa nakikita nyo, meron tayong isang line in orange color, tapos may isa ring line in black color. Hindi lang masyadong halata kasi nga magkapatong yung dalawang line. Ang tawag naman dito ay coinciding lines. Yan ang graph kapag dependent yung ating systems of linear equation. At kapag naman inconsistent, no solution, so we expect that they will never meet kahit extend mo pa into both directions. They will never have a point of intersection. At ito naman yung tinatawag natin na parallel lines. Kasi nga, di ba, same yung kanilang slope, so parallel sila. Another way to determine if a given system is dependent independent or inconsistent is using inspection method and let's do that sa mga susunod na example. So sa example 1, gamitan natin ng inspection method. Ibig sabihin, hindi natin i-graph. I-inspect lang natin using the coefficient and the constant. So ang gagawin natin dito ay kukuhanin natin yung mga corresponding coefficient and constant provided that the two equations are written in the same format. Ibig sabihin kung yung isang equation ay naka-general form, dapat yung kabila general form din. Kung isa ay standard form, dapat yung kabila standard form din. Kung hindi magkapareho, kailangan pagparehuhin mo sila ng format ng pagkakasulat. So example 1, pareho na naman ang format nila. So we can directly inspect their coefficient and constant. So, isulat natin dito yung mga coefficient ng x. Gawin natin siya in terms of fraction. Yung numerator ay yung galing sa equation 1, tapos yung denominator yung magiging equation 2. For x, meron tayong 2 
at meron tayong 1, tandaan kapag di nakasulat, automatic, the coefficient of that number is 1. So, for x, we have 2 over 1. Next, for the second variable, for y, meron tayong negative 1 naman, tapos negative 2. Next, for the constant, meron tayong 5 at meron tayong 1. Ayusin lang natin. Ah, uh, itong negative 1 over negative 2, negative divided by negative is positive. And then this is 5 over 1. Hindi natin tinatanggal yung mga over 1 sa mga whole numbers dahil kailangan niya naka-fractional form siya. Kung mapapansin natin, itong 2 over 1, tsaka yung 1 over 2, they are not equal to each other. Tapos, itong 1 half, tsaka yung 5 over 1, hindi rin equal sa isa't isa. Kapag ganito, hindi equal yung tatlong fraction na mabubuo natin, therefore, the given system is independent. Ano naman kapag ganito? Again, using inspection method, we have 3 over 4, that is 4x. Next, for y, meron tayong 6 over 8. Tapos, Uy, dito nga pala, wait lang, hindi pala natin dapat muna isinulat dahil kailangan same sila ng format. Dapat itong 28, it's either yung 28 ang ating ililipat dito sa right side o kaya itong 21 yung ililipat natin sa left side. In this case, i-adjust natin yung pangalawang equation. Meron tayong 3x plus 6y equals 21. Yan pa rin yung equation 1. Tapos ito 4x plus 8y, ito ay positive 28. So, still 3, or, 3 over 4 pa din. Luckily, hindi ito na bago kasi hindi naman siya na, na move. 6 over 8 pa din to. Ngayon, meron tayong positive 21 and positive 28. See, kung hindi natin binago, negative 28 yung isasulat natin. And that will affect the answer. Mamamali yung sagot natin. Kaya dapat same sila ng format. So, going back here, I-lowest term lang natin itong mga given fraction. Ito, 3 fourths pa din. 6 over 8, pwede yung i-divide pareho sa 2. Pag dinivide sa 2, ito magiging 3, ito magiging 4. 21 over 28, ito pwede rin i-divide sa 7. Pwede itong maging 3, pwede itong maging uh, 4. So, 3 fourths pa din. At mapapansin natin na equal yung tatlong fraction sa isa't isa. Pag equal yung tatlong fraction, therefore, the system is dependent. Kapag ginraph natin yan, isang line lang yan, coinciding lines lang. And it has infinitely many solutions. And finally, yan, magkaiba na naman yung format. Again, yung equation 2 ang mag-adjust. This will be 6x, this will be 30y, and then yung positive 12, magi, uh, I mean yung negative 12 pala magiging positive 12. Next, we will take their coefficient and constant. For x, we have 1 from the first equation, tapos ito ay 6. For y, meron tayong 5, tapos 30. And then for the constant, meron tayong 19 and 12. I-lowest term lang natin yung mga fraction. 1, 6 is still 1, 6. 5 over 30, parehong pwedeng i-divide sa 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 30 divided by 5 is 6. So, ito ay 1, 6. 19 over 12, is still 19 over 12. Wala tayong ma-lowest term dyan. Hindi na natin gagawing mixed number. So, itong dalawang fraction, equal sa isa't isa. Itong dalawa, hindi equal. At dahil hindi consistent yung ating symbol, therefore this is inconsistent system at wala tayong makukuhang point of intersection, no solution for this kind of system. Knowing what kind of system is involved saves us time. Baka kasi mamaya solve tayo ng solve, hindi muna natin chinek ay inconsistent pala. O di, we expect na wala dapat solution, walang point of intersection yung dalawang lines or yung dalawang equation. O kaya naman, solve ka ng solve hanggang dulo yung pala dependent. Infinitely many pala yung solution. So knowing the type of system saves us time and gives us an idea kung ano yung i-expect natin na sagot. Depende kung anong kind ng system niya. 
In the next video, pag-uusapan na natin ang iba't ibang ways or methods kung paano mag-solve ng systems of linear equations. At sa mga videos na yon, I assure you, lahat ay independent systems. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.